because I was being politicized and decided that as much as I wanted to be a, an architect, that the community needed lawyers. And I had a big mouth. And I knew I had a mouth that, you know, could work. Um, and you, what law school did you go to? I went to UCLA. Yeah. I went to Loyola undergrad. Um, and that was because my physics teacher in Duarte, who had been an engineer for Hughes Aircraft, uh, said, uh, you, have you thinking about college? I said, oh yeah, I'm going to go to college. I didn't know where or what that meant, you know, in a sense, you know. Um, but, he, but he said, are you going to, and I says, have you thought of where? And I said, well, I've been thinking, you know, I'm here, I'm fudging, right? Now. I've been thinking about it, you know. He says, well, I got a college that I think would be good for you. So he took me out to Loyola. And, you know, he, he, got, he had me paid just right. It was exactly the kind of place for me. I mean, because, you know, of my background and so forth. And, you know, he, I don't know how he, he figured me, me out psychologically to know Loyola's the place where you belong. Um, so I spent four years at Loyola causing problems, you know. I was president of Mecha at Loyola. We um, took over the administration building. We did all kinds of other things like that. Um, I went to UCLA Law School. I was president of Chicano Law Students at, at UCLA. We closed the law school for nine days in the post baki time there. Um, in that's the, so interesting. I mean, that's really, really amazing activism, and that's this is all new to me. Yeah, <laughs> and then um, and then you know went to work at East LA Legal Aid. You know, on, on uh, um, Whittier and Atlantic, I worked there for a couple of years. And then went to work for a firm and so forth, and eventually opened up my own my own place. And where is but, your place located now? Well, I, I work in um, Montebello, where I live. It's so five minutes away from the office, you know, which makes it convenient for kids and all of that. And then you're in your community. And I'm, well, that was that's, that was part of it because I you know I had lived in Van Nuys when I went to uh, UCLA. Because you know we couldn't, I couldn't afford anything, you know, on this side of the hill, and but there was so much racism at that time. You know, the Mexicans weren't everywhere. You, there were parts of the valley that you. I remember going to uh, Baskin Robbins, Mary and I, you know, my wife Mary, uh, before we got married, and just feeling the tension of what are these Mexicans doing in our ice cream store. I mean, it was kind of like. Why is everybody looking at us like, you know, every, I mean, every, you just felt that tension and we're just going to get an ice cream, you know, I, I wasn't over here looking for a political fight, you know, 